The D-Audio chief has said in a latest interview, that the Tejas Mark II should start getting ready by 2028 for induction into the Indian Air Force, while the AMCA Mark I powered by General Electric F-414 engines will conduct its first flight in 2030, but the induction might take place in 2033. He also said, that he would not be able to give a timeline on AMCA Mark II, unless the engine deal for co-development with a foreign original equipment manufacturer is signed, for which talks are underway with Saffron General Electric and Rolls-Royce. Sources in the defense establishment have said, that the MRFA contract is unlikely to go to the American F-21 or F-15X since French Rafale aircraft is the front-runner, but things could change if the US offers the F-35 fifth-generation aircraft. The US have also displayed its F-A-18E and F-A-18F Super Hornets at the Aero India 2023 eyeing for a contract for 26 aircraft by the Indian Navy, however, the scales have tilted in favor of the Rafale Marine, but the US might be hoping to roll it back with the F-35 offer. India's Singularity Aerospace has displayed its tactical armed drone called Tango Bravo at the Aero India 2023, that features artificial intelligence-enabled vision sensors, and has an endurance of 20 hours, a maximum speed of 250 km per hour, and service ceiling of 20,000 feet. The drone weighs less than 100 kg, and has a maximum takeoff weight of 350 kg and it comes with the option of piston engine, turbine engine, and four-stroke engine. New Space Research and Technologies has showcased its tactical interdiction and attack air vehicle, which will be a hunter-killer low-observable multi-role autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle. It can be used for intelligence surveillance and target acquisition roles including electronic intelligence, and can attack a target set deep within the enemy territory. The company has already started internal testing, and will commence developmental trials in the next few months. New Space Research and Technologies has proposed to develop a bigger stealthy high-speed high-altitude unmanned combat aerial vehicle called CATSMAX for the Indian Air Force, that can function like a mothership and data center for other assets of CATS program, and will be able to carry weapons in its internal weapons bay and external hardpoints and can also be used as a standoff delivery platform in strike missions over the enemy airspace. A DRDO official have said, that the development of man-portable anti-tank guided missile for the Indian Army is not completed because of its weight. It weighs 14.5 kilograms in its current form, and the DRDO is working to reduce the weight of the system by 30%, since it is a man-portable system, and weight causes a lot of problems. The technology and design has been decided, and it will take at least 2 to 3 years to develop the system. A high-level official delegation from Argentina have arrived in Bangalore to hold a meeting with the top officials of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Financial Express have reported, that Argentina is expected to place an order for one Tejas Mark 1A squadron, that includes 15 single-seater fighter jets and three trainers, that will be armed with air-to-air air-to-ground and anti-ship missiles. Russia has informed India, that it would not take part in the Project 75 I tender, but has offered India to jointly design and produce a fourth-generation non-nuclear submarine based on the Amor diesel-electric submarine, that will have a high localization level of production of up to 80%, and will feature improved acoustic stealth, new combat systems, and the option of installing an anaerobic air-independent power plant, and it can be armed with BrahMos missiles, torpedoes and mines. 
On the sidelines of Aero India 2023, the regional director of Lockheed Martin India has said that the Indian companies such as Tata Defence Larsen and Tubro Mohindra and Ordnance Factory Board, that are developing future infantry fighting vehicle for the Indian Army, have asked for Javelin anti-tank guided missile to be equipped on their next generation fighting vehicle prototypes. It has an effective range of 2.5 km and can defeat heavily armored vehicles such as main battle tanks. Thank <laughs> you.